They're editing pig DNA so that baby pigs are growing up to be human organ donors. So I've been reading about this for hours, so I'll explain to you in the next two minutes what this is about. So imagine having a family member that is in a desperate need of an organ transplant, but they've been on a donor list for ages and nothing is happening. You would try to look for different solutions, right? So, for decades, they've been looking at organ donations from other animals into our body. And although pigs might not look so similar on the outside, they actually have quite similar organs to us. But there are two problems. First of all, throughout our lives, we pick up viruses. And those viruses, they embed themselves in our DNA. And they just sit there, they don't do anything, and they get passed on to the next generation. This also happens in pigs. So the pig's DNA has lots of viruses in there, and it's not harmful, it's not doing anything to the pigs, but whenever an organ from a pig gets transferred into our bodies, those viruses might become a problem. And then the second problem is the same as human to human organ transplant, where the receiving body might reject the organ because it sees it as an intruder. So for decades, these two problems have prevented organ donations from animals into humans. But with the new gene editing techniques like CRISPR, we're now able to solve these two problems. So what have they done? First of all, they've been able to locate all the viruses in the pig DNA and deactivated them. That's solving problem one. And then for problem two, they've not only located harmful genes and deactivated them, they've also introduced human genes into the pig DNA, so that whenever the organ from the pig goes into a human body, our bodies are more likely to recognize them as our own. So why am I telling you about this now? Earlier this year, Tim Andrews, a guy 67 years old, has received an organ of a pig who had 69 gene edits, and he's been living with this donor organ for more than seven months. And that makes him the longest surviving recipient of a genetically modified pig organ. Isn't that crazy? In other words, 